About 25 children and adults were injured Wednesday when a wagon carrying them overturned at a western Wisconsin apple orchard. The children, parents and chaperones were on a field trip to the orchard in Lafayette when one of two wagons being pulled by a tractor turned sideways and rolled over, Chippewa County Sheriff Travis Hakes told reporters. Hakes said the tractor was traveling at a low speed when the wagon rolled over while going downhill. Three people suffered critical injuries, while injuries to five others were considered serious. Authorities didn't say how many of the injured were children. The elementary school-age children attend a school in Eau Claire. Lafayette is northeast of Eau Claire. So during a field trip today in the town of Lafayette, several children along with parents and chaperones were on a wagon ride through an apple orchard. It was off public roadway. During the time, one of the wagons began to lose control as it was descending on a hill. They attempted to stop the wagon from descending down the hill sideways and it abruptly overturned. When the wagon overturned, there were multiple injuries to both children and adults. There were three patients transported with life-threatening injuries, five more patients transported with serious injuries, nine more additional patients were also transported by ambulance, and at least one patient was transported via helicopter. Some of the patients were transported in personal vehicles. They were small children, elementary age. The children were extremely brave, very resilient, extremely brave. I'm very proud of every one of those kiddos and the chaperones. They did a fantastic job. No, no, not low speed. There were two wagons, one overturned. Lebanon's health ministry said on Wednesday at least nine people were killed and over 300 were wounded on Wednesday as electronic devices exploded in multiple regions of country. The blasts happened a day after an apparent attack targeting pagers used by Hezbollah killed at least 12 and wounded nearly 3,000. On a busy street in the southern city of Sidon, dozens of people and first responders gathered by a cell phone shop that caught fire after an explosion. Several ambulances were also present but it was unclear if there any casualties. Multiple explosions went off on Wednesday at the site of a funeral for three Hezbollah members and a child killed by exploding pagers the day before, according to Associated Press journalists at the scene. Hezbollah's Al Mana TV reported explosions in multiple areas of Lebanon, and a Hezbollah official told the Associated Press that walkie-talkies used by the group exploded as part of blasts heard in Beirut. The official spoke on condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to speak to the media. There was no immediate detail on casualties. The new blasts happened with Lebanon still thrown into confusion and anger after the Tuesday's pager bombings, which appeared to target Hezbollah members. At least 12 people were killed, including two children and some 2,800 people wounded as hundreds of pagers used by Hezbollah members began detonating in several parts of Lebanon and in Syria.
يا جماعة الخير بطارية الليثيوم فجرت بقلب الرباد 